Hi Cancer, this is Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your October 19th to your October 30th 2017 Love and General Reading. For the new subscribers, um, I'm a psychic medium. I'm active in my community. It's over 20 years giving channel messages through my angels, spirit guides and ancestors uh, through my tarot cards and personal one-on-one -on -one readings and I'm also known on a worldwide basis in giving personal readings and being a spiritual coach because that's what I am here in my community a lot. Uh, I help people to see past their um, experiences in the past or anybody that gets stuck in a certain situation and I help them to see. I open the door and I help them to see which direction to go but I do not tell them what to do. They, are, they have to take um, account of their own um, journey and move forward okay and um, for those of you that are uh, that have, don't know me I want to thank you so much for the support uh, for your likes your comments cancers you know I love you very much and um, so now we're gonna go ahead with your reading as I was meditating in the energy of, of cancer on a collective uh, and shuffling the cards I was getting messages that some of you uh, have met somebody so this is for the singles and for the dating okay you have or you have you met somebody uh, and um, somehow uh, there's an imbalance between you or this other person uh, it could be that you cancer are imbalanced or the person you're with is imbalanced okay there's something that's not uh, completely right okay there's a gift that came to you from the universe okay and I believe that this gift is your twin flame. Uh, I I know I I I also um, felt uh, uh, when I was shuffling the cards, and when I was meditating in your energy that um, there's a resisting a resistance, okay? Uh, or you're resisting the change, like you met somebody, you like them, but you're not moving forward because some of you are still in fear. Okay, and some of you are not in fear. It's like it's a constant battle between fear, like a fear of like moving forward with this person. Okay, maybe there's something you don't like about them, or uh, it could be that uh, past experiences that uh, that are keeping you from moving forward. And there's a and then there's days that you are fine with it, but it's a constant battle. It's between your light and your shadow. It's like it's just constant all the time. Okay. Um, I also noticed a lot is that um, uh, in the past I, I felt also that there was um, an energy of a uh, you know a broken heart you are healing from that some of you are healing from that some of you it takes time there's still purging to do this is what they're telling me there's purging there's a process that you need to go because you have this twin flame here okay and um, now, some of you you're also dealing, uh, some of you, not all of you, are. if you, like the singles and dating, if you met somebody that is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? Um, could be any sign because it's a general reading, uh, but, or it's you that's um, feeling unbalanced at this moment, or it's the, that person that's feeling unbalanced. Anyways, there's, an, and, and there's, there's a process of a resistance, I see that resisting to move forward it's like you're, you're supposed to go to the next level but you're not you're stopping yourself okay so that's what i got uh, for uh, the cancers so now i'm i'm gonna take my cards and i'm gonna start shuffling okay now whenever you get to see this video is the right time for you okay though uh, my videos are coming out late this week uh, because i had many personal readings to do uh, here in my community and I also had um, I had personal readings uh, on YouTube to take care of okay and uh, I've been assisting a lot of people with uh, you know their their work because a lot of people are stuck and a lot of I'm getting a lot of uh, messages and um, and I'm trying to help as much as I can so I figured I need ideas of how to um, and I'm asking you know my cancer and my can my crabs cancer and my crabs okay if because um, like I, I want to do the weeklies but I feel that I won't have enough time to do the weeklies so I was thinking maybe is it better what do you think is it better that I do the monthlies 
and I do just one video per month. For the weeklies, if I do the readings, I can't make them this long because I won't have time. Because I, I like I said, I, uh, you know, uh, there's a, uh, I'm only one person. And uh, I can't assist uh, and do a hundred things at the same time. So I need to uh, figure out what to do here. Maybe I could do small readings for the weeklies. Uh, if, but um, I will not be able to do... Um, a lot have been asking me if I could do like people that are married, people that are single, people that are dating. And I can't do all those videos because I do have a, day, a daytime job as well. Uh, where I uh, is like my primary place now at this moment, right? I work a lot there too, and um, but uh, you know I'm just trying to figure out how to um, to do my videos because I I'm seeing that my videos are gonna be late this week, okay? But anytime you get to see this is the right time for you. For those of you the newcomers uh, that are here, um, if you don't know your rising sign, your moon sign, and your um, and your, and your Venus, uh, and you don't know how to get it, it's very simple. All you have to do is uh, go on uh, Google and type in uh, free birth uh, astrology chart, and there uh, you're going to put your name, where you're born, the time you're born. If you don't know the time that you're born, uh, you could put... Um, you could put... Uh, I think these... I don't know. The angels want me to use this. Okay, so you could put uh, 12 p.m., okay? And uh, it's going to give you all the planets, and um, and then if this does not resonate with you, you could uh, check out your rising, your uh, your moon sign, and your your Venus sign, because Venus is about love. Okay. <laughs> Look at that! They gave me perfectly the cards that I needed, the angels. Okay, and. Uh, so if let's say you you I read I do this reading for you and something resonated with you, and then the rest of the reading didn't resonate with you, it's because it's not meant for you. Okay, the reading is not supposed to bring you confusion. It's supposed to bring you like an intuitive hit, and you'll know it's 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 it, that the that particular message was for you, and then you could go check your rising. And you could go check your Venus and your Moon, and you might get like the pieces of the puzzle that are missing, and you could put them together. Okay, so I'm just telling you that just in case that you need to know. Um, when I'm recording this, it's uh, October. We're still uh, in uh, October 19th. We're almost going to October 20th, uh, but the energy of this new Moon will stay with us uh, till in the month of November. Okay. So anytime you see this is a good time, just to let you know, okay? So you don't worry that if you see it late or not. Um, I see that there's um, that there's a lot of options around you. I don't know, maybe I'm reading for the singles here, or the people that are dating. Um, there was a lot of options around you. A lot of people around you, you know. Maybe you're talking to a few people. And um, you have been working on yourself. I know it's that cancer. You've been working on yourself. Okay. And uh, there is a message of love here. Okay. There is. But it's not like a grand love. Okay. Like that's coming through. Okay. But you are working on yourself a lot. Or you're working a lot at your job. Okay. Or you're doing. You're, you're working a lot. I could see that. Um, some of you are not sleeping well at night. You're you're not taking the rest that you're supposed to be sleeping. You're not sleeping. There is a twin flame on the table again. It came out like I. That's what I saw because I saw the yin and yang, um, and. Um, it's, it's just showing me that it's unbalanced or something that, or maybe uh, at this moment you are separated from your twin. Maybe uh, due to that you're working a lot, okay? Could be that too. You are working a lot, okay? And it could be that you don't see that person as much as you want to, but there's kind of an imbalance going on here, okay? Uh, there's something that happened within your uh, within your relationship, your union, okay? Um, it. You feel like when you met them, it was all your dreams come true, okay? But it's like you're re-evaluating everything. You're re-evaluating um, everything, 
about yourself, okay, or about the situation at hand, okay, uh, you know, for those of you that don't know, Jupiter right now is in the month, uh, Jupiter, uh, October 10th, to, um, the sign of uh, Scorpio moved into Scor into Jupiter, and it's going to be with us till the month, uh, till next year in November, okay, and um, it's all about transformation and what Jupiter is really asking you from okay and it's going to keep asking you it's like you're shedding skin is um, what do you really what really matters to you okay what really really matters to you so that's going to be a question in hand that's gonna that you're going to be going through cancer and reevaluating um, I feel that some of you are dealing with a Leo okay or and um, or a Virgo as well um. there's an energy around you cancer now it could be from an air sign uh, Gemini Libra or uh, Aquarius, uh, but there's, I feel that there's someone around you at work, okay? Now, this is what I'm getting, is that I'm not feeling that this has to do with your twin, okay? Because I think you are clear about who is your twin. I think you have a clear view of, uh, even though you had options, this is for the singles and the dating, that you had options and you were probably talking to a few people, Okay, there's like, uh, you got like, you know, love messages here and there and you're working on yourself or you're working very hard at your job, like really working a lot, okay? You buried yourself in your work, okay? And um, what I'm feeling here is that there's, I feel that there's someone around your work that does not, um, someone that's sneaky that at your work could be a work co-worker or it could be that someone's... Um, this person is not a good person. Uh, they're very sneaky. They're very um, um, like if they take like it's as if they take they take your time, your energy. It's like you put in so much work. You're I I feel some of you are overtired as well. You're very overtired. You have a lot on your shoulders, maybe with bills and stuff. You know you're paying a lot of stuff or. But you have a lot on your shoulders. You're carrying like, I feel like you're carrying the weight on your shoulders. And you're not having enough time to go within yourself and be in the moment. And like, just take time uh, to be alone. You're not sleeping. And it's because there's a lesson that you need to be, there's a lesson that needs to be learned here. Okay, and uh, you're at the end of your lesson, but you still are not complete. Okay. Something has to shift, okay? It shows me here there's new beginnings um, because you got the Ten of Wands and you also got the Ten of Swords, which means that for me here, it shows me that um, there there's new beginnings, okay? there's This is the ending, the ending, okay? Cancer, when you see the Ten of Wands and the Ten of uh, Swords, it's the ending of, of, uh, of heartache, uh, of anything that hurts you so bad, okay, it's the ending, and the 10 becomes a 1, and it's a new beginning, okay, so there is that in hand, so that's really pretty, and really good, and it's pretty, I said pretty, but I meant good, sorry, it's very late here, and um, you got the 9 of cups, okay, so this card is about all your dreams and your wishes coming to fruition, okay, coming true, but you're resisting something. You're resisting to move forward. You're resisting change. Okay, there's something that you don't want to move forward with. Maybe you're not ready. You know, uh, there is a twin flame reunion. There's a so sorry, no reunion. Sorry, there is a twin flame. That's in. That's it's. You know, normally if it's like this, you're both in balance. But there's an imbalance over here, over here. It could also mean that you're separated from this person. It's something that happened maybe you you started a relationship and it became st stagnant okay or uh, something or you're working a lot or they're working a lot or there's confusion 
because maybe you're talking to too many people and you don't know who it is, but I do feel for some of you, you know who it is because you did get the Ace of Swords, okay? And the Ace of Swords talks about truth, talks about clarity. You're not in the fog anymore, okay? You know what's going on. Like you have an idea, something about your intuition here, okay? And I feel that some of you want to walk away, are going to walk away. You know, or maybe you fear that they're going to walk away or you fear that you're not going to, you're going to walk away from this. I feel that there's, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I feel that it's, it's I feel that, let me, I'm just counting something. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five yeah. I feel that you're going to, you, you might be walking away. And we're going to figure out why, okay? Because over here, I see that um, for some of you, you're not taking the... Um, maybe the, this person doesn't even live around you anymore. Maybe there's not enough communication between you and your twin, okay? And it's causing you maybe to walk away, okay? But the thing is, is that it's very, uh, I just feel it's an, an, an unbalance because this person, okay, <clears throat> you've seen the signs, Cancer, okay? You've seen the, the signs, uh, you've been, you are, you are aware of, of uh, the angels sending you messages, okay? Um... And I feel that you are aware. I feel that you're, this is for the singles and dating. I feel that you're dating too many people or you're seeing too many people or you're talking to too many people and you are getting yourself confused because you know the truth of your twin flame. You know who he is. I'm really feeling that, and you, and there's a very beautiful partnership, okay, it is, okay, there, it's the same, it's the same, it's very equal in giving and taking, it's like very equal in the way that you love each other, but there's something that's preventing you from moving forward with this person, it could also be someone of a, who is younger than you, okay, it could be Cancer, uh, Scorpio and Pisces, and this is what was shown to me at the beginning when I was meditating that it could, I saw the water. So um, I, this is a what for some of you. This is another water sign. It could be another cancer like you. Okay, um, you see the truth in the matter because you've seen the signs, and it is it, it, it's a, it, it, when you met this person there was some kind of spark because you got the Ace of Wands here, and the Ace of Wands could also be something creative that you're working on. Uh, you're working on yourself or you're working on this creative project that you're not or you could be that you're working like two jobs or three jobs or something but you're working so much that you're not giving uh this this twin flame the the chance okay uh, and and maybe uh you are afraid also because uh, maybe in the past you got hurt uh, with a third party situation or you you know because cancers have been going through many uh Cancers, a lot of cancers on the collective are going, went through um, many transformations in the past and it was one after another. If it wasn't about relationship, it was about friendship. If it wasn't about friendship, it was about family, but there was always something, even their work, okay? But I feel that when you met with this person, uh, maybe there's characteristics that you didn't like about them, you know, whatever, like just little things that you don't like about them. But when you were with them at that time, you know, maybe you went on one or two dates and you kissed or you, um, you know, you held hands and you laughed. You, there was some sort of um, um, a spark in your heart, okay? But it's here, okay? Um, but I feel that some of you are still, because this person is here, okay? I feel some of you, not all of you, but some of you are stuck you're, you're stuck with, not stuck, okay, let's put it this way. You are um, bonded with somebody else. 
in the past. I feel that there's a past energy that's here. Now, that's not for all, but this is for some of you, okay? It could be a Capricorn as well, okay? There's, or probably there's, um, there's like, a, you're bonded by this person. This person was a manipulator. He, uh, he, he uh, was, um, um, he or she was um, manipulating you all the time. Uh, used to turn the tables around and make you look like you you were uh, the bad person. And I feel is this person's energy is still here, okay? Like like they have a hold on you. Like I d and but this person is never gonna change. And this person was. Uh, you know, some of you thought he was or she was a soulmate energy, and no, that's this person was not uh, your soulmate, okay? Not your soulmate at all. But for the job thing that I see here, I do see an energy around you. You need to be careful, okay? Uh, cancers, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to scare you. It's not that you have to be careful in that way. What I mean by being careful is that I feel that there's something at work that's going on for some of you. Maybe an employee, an, another another coworker, a boss. Maybe you work in a big company where you have, or maybe you work in a company where there's more than one uh, boss. I don't know. There's there's an energy around you. Could also be a friend energy. It doesn't matter. It, it it's just an energy. It doesn't matter if it's at work or not at work. But there's an energy energy around you that someone is very envious of you. I find Cancer. They're envious because you're a good person. You give your you you. You know you love you're you're like such an awesome person. You always want to give. You want you're nice. You're 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 caring. You're understanding. You know and you um you do very good at, at uh, where you're working apparently. What well, angels some of you are what the angels are telling me is that this it, this is, is coming from an envious person that, that is miserable miserable and and it's like they're they're vindictive. So be careful. Uh, just. Try to stay aware of, of of the people around you because October 28th, okay, it's a time where for cancers, they need just for one day, okay? It's just a one-day energy, but it's it could it could play like before a bit or after, depending where you are on your, on your soul journey. But I do believe that, that, that um, I feel that there's an energy around you that wants to, um, I don't know, not hurt you, no. But they're vindictive, like, I don't know, it's like, they're not, like, just don't, you know what, if you are, just, you know what, for at least until November, okay, don't talk to anybody about your private life, Cancer, if it's okay if I tell you this, um, I usually, like, don't, don't, uh, the less you talk to people about whatever you're working on, um, this relationship, uh, uh, this twin flame that's here, but it's unbalanced right now, and it's, it it be it could be due to the fact that um, that uh, you know of uncertain unbalance between both of you. You know, maybe the person that you met, uh, there's some qualities that you don't like about them, and uh, but you know you do like being with them, but yet there's that because you're a lot of yous are still not you're resisting the change to go to the next level the relationship is supposed to go to the next level but you're trying to resist it and uh you know and that's that's the issue that i see over here okay and so like until november okay until november please don't share anything with anybody it's better that way just keep you know do your own thing be who you are but don't share nothing okay i'm really telling you this from uh, from don't share anything Okay, um, I do see uh, that uh, there could be also an air sign around you. Uh, it could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini also, okay, for some of you. And I, and, um, I see that, that uh, for those of you that are, are dating or be, are dating or are the ones that are in a couple, uh, in a couple, uh, there's going to that that have been uh, coupled for a while. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get my messages together. <laughs> I have to pause. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm not. I'm just like I'm being a, a apologetic because like I'm apologizing because like um I just paused. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, for those of you that have have been coupled for a while, I do see that you're going up to the next level, and I do see that you're going to be getting married. 
uh, for those of you cancers uh, that are um, in the near future, there is a job uh, for those of you that are looking to change career or go to the next level in your unemployment. There is a job that's coming to you that's going to bring you success, okay? Um, that's going to, you know, uh, I see finances are going up for cancers. Finally, yay, right, cancer? And um, I also see an earth element here, okay, here as well, uh, which is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? Yeah, this is what it is, okay. For some of you cancers that are that have to go to the next level in your relationship, okay, whether you're single and you met somebody while you're dating and one person or you're uh, in a couple or you're married, there's a situation that I feel that you're not making a decision, okay, and you healed yourself pretty much, okay, you healed yourself, but there's still a bit of unbalance, which is normal, because... Uh, it's no one can be perfect right but i feel that some of you you have your heart closed and angels are saying if you want to bring your well because i see the twin flame union here okay uh, so and i also see a soulmate relationship here okay as well for the singles and the dating uh, if you don't open your heart and give the benefit of doubt to someone new that's coming in without bringing baggage of your past with you, okay? Because uh, sometimes we have fears, right? There's fears out there. So there's a fear that, oh, am I going to get hurt again? Is this going to happen to me again? I don't want to get hurt again. I just healed myself. I feel better about myself. And now this person is here. What am I? Okay, that's the issue in hand is you need to be unconditional love, Cancer. You are unconditional love. And you have to, for, for the relationship to flourish, you really need to open your heart and be vulnerable, okay? And I know it's not easy to step out of your comfort zone, of your shell, but this is what is expected from you, okay? Uh, you cannot stay where you are thinking that uh, every day that things are going to change for you if you stay in your shell. No, you need to step out of the shell and leave the shell behind and move forward and build a new shell 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 eventually because you always need a shell to go uh, to go inward from but the angels are asking you to open your heart okay to open your heart because this is your twin flame union here you wanted this for so long but it feels like uh the fear is keeping you from moving forward you there's f anxiety and fear and confusion and um Okay, uh, the person that's coming to you is a good person, okay? Okay, some of you are not, uh, some of you cancers, not all of you, okay, um, are not trusting your intuition at this moment. It could be because of the planets also. It's, there's a lot of things happening in the stars and in the planets. A lot of, uh, uh, you know, triangles. Um, when I say triangles, I mean like in the stars, okay, not in, in, in relationships. Um, you know, uh, could be some planets are opposing other planets. Uh, but there's something that you're, you are, or you're like, you're not trusting your own intuition. And... Uh, but in a way, it's like it's weird because some of you, some of you, know the truth. Okay, you're standing in your power, but you're not trusting your intuition. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, you have the sun shining behind you. Uh, so those of you that have been unemployed, there is jobs coming in. There is a job coming in for you, a new idea, a new project that you're started, and you have the sun that's shining behind you. Okay, amplifying it. Um, I really believe some of you are dealing with a, a, an air sign. Uh, again, Gemini, Aquarius, and um, 
Libra, standing in your power in that, that's for sure. I believe that you, um, a lot of cancers, I feel this for a lot of cancers. Okay, let me just pause for a second because I'm getting a lot of messages here and I don't want to, um, it, there's a lot, <laughs> I just need to like focus. Um, in the past cancers, okay, there was a lot of confusions, uh, you got hurt, uh, like to the extreme, I can't even explain, you went through a lot of karmic uh, experience, like karmic relationships, but not only with a person, but with everything, friendship, you had a lot of friends backstabbing you, hurting you, you never expected people to, um, uh, hurt you in the way that they did, and this comes from family, friends, relationship, uh, just people in general, okay? Life in general. And you cut through a lot. You cut through a lot. You cut a lot of ties. You cut uh, people out of your life. You you cut the fog out of you. Like, you, you're, you're standing in, you're standing as a queen. Okay, now if I'm reading for cancer man or cancer woman, you're both of man and woman, you're standing in your power you have the energy of the sword, okay? This is your energy. That's Okay, this is your energy. Or you have this in your chart. You may be a Cancer, and you have a rising or moon or Venus in this, okay? Uh, so I, I would... Uh, you have your energy... Or, um, you have one of your planets in the Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? And uh, I, I would advise you to go check your... Uh, your, your, your uh, other videos to know less what's going on but you are you are standing in this and uh it's like you're clear you're clear but you're also very it's also it's also you're very truthful okay and you um you know the truth you cut a lot of people around you. you you're not you cut a lot of people out of your life okay cancers i do see this a lot i see this but i, I see that um This, that, um, I'm trying to say, yeah. like you know where you're standing because look, you know this person, who he is or she is. You have the swords over here. Let me see that. Okay, you have the swords. You're clear. You cut through everything. Okay, you've been working so hard on yourself, and congratulations on that. It's the end, the end of what you went through because you completed, you completed all your life lessons. Okay, but it's the fear that's keeping you, the fear and the past. Okay, the past. You're not looking at the bigger picture. I feel that some of you are not looking at the bigger picture. You're, you're focusing too much on something that went wrong in the past and you fear and you're bringing it in your present moment because right now we are living in the unknown and it's putting a lot of anxiety and fears but you need to trust in your angels okay because they're guiding you okay they're guiding you some of you are not some of you are going to come out of this and you are going to become more balanced okay um, there is that anytime there's a new moon or a full moon, for cancers because our ruling planet our satellite is is the moon it's our ruling um you know it's, i know it's not a planet there but it's it, it our, it's the moon is our is where we uh is our ruling satellite i people say it's a satellite but anyways let's get back to what i was trying to say here okay before i get to uh, i'm sorry because it's very 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 late here and um my words are not, like, I'm getting the messages, but my my mouth is not opening to say the words I'm supposed to. So just bear with me, please, okay? Uh, cancers, I know you can. Uh, you're very um, kind and uh, supportive. Okay. Um, in, in the, in, I feel that um, you're, a lot of you are unbalanced at this moment because you're or you're working too much at a job that you're not taking care of yourself. I mean, like maybe some of you are not exercising, 
you're not going out to um, pamper yourself or treat yourself good. Um, you know, I feel that because I feel that there's not enough sleep, not enough alone time. Uh, maybe you're working so hard that you're 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 neglecting yourself. Okay, that that could be also uh, something there. Okay, is there anything else you want to tell? Because you have like many aces on the ground. You have two aces over here. Okay. Some of you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. Um, Aries. And Leo. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So I have all the signs here. Because it's a general reading. In the near future, in the near future, sorry, in the near future, uh, you are going to get past this fear. Okay, this is what they're telling me now. You're going to get past this fear, and you are, some of you are going to be relocating, okay, to a new job, relocating to a new home, or just moving, like city or country, okay? Now, that's not for all of you, this is for some of you, okay? Again. Let me know, Cancer, and leave it in the comments what's going, if, if I'm reaching anybody out there. I feel like I'm talking to a few people here. Um, I feel this uncertainty, okay? And let me know if it's like, if this resonated with you, this part over here. And I feel this also for the people that are married, okay? I feel this for a lot of people that are married, that there's something that's unbalanced in your marriage. Maybe some of you don't even know you're with your twin, but you are. Now, this is not for all of you, of course, right? Uh, but this is for some of you, okay? And I believe that um, there's you have a child with this person, And the child could be of uh, a water sign like you, okay? Maybe both of you are working very hard. You're not paying attention to um, each other. Um, you're reevaluating to see if, uh, you know, you're reevaluating your, your marriage. Um, But in all in all, it tells me that um, you have the strength to go through this, okay? There's always ups and downs, and you feel that uh, you suffered enough uh, cancer, and you don't want to suffer anymore. And the angels are saying, you're not going to suffer anymore, but you need to open that heart of yours, and you need to maybe heal it a bit more and put more effort in, in, in uh, you know, self-love, or if it's not, I'm not, this is not for everybody, of course, but... I do have to put it out there, you know, because, um, you know, uh, we you all, we always need to work on ourselves. It's 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 constant, okay. You you know, it's that's how it is, you know. Some of you are moving too quickly and making rash rash decisions. Um, you're you're not in your uh, right head. Head, like you're not in your right um what's how the word that they're asking you're not in um the angels are trying to say is that before you make any decisions of anything of moving away like let's say if you want to if you're leaving this marriage or you're not sure what to do because you're confused and you're not you're moving forward without like like moving away from this this uh, situation here to really think about it because right now you are like uh, not uh, resting well and um there, there's a, there's a lot of fears around you and it, and it's just fears in your mind okay it's it's th those fears don't exist and you don't really and your intuition is off right now so please just wait a bit more wait a bit more uh pause and take some time out for yourself okay this is all i'm getting for now some of you are also dealing dealing maybe in the past you were dealing you dealt with a third party situation you healed it but uh, by meeting this new person 
you brought up those feelings, uh, those feelings came up again. And that means that you need to re-look uh, at, uh, at, at uh, your feelings. Um, you need to, uh, it's reality, you need to like, it's, it's only normal. Let's say if you've been through a third party situation and you healed it and you thought you healed it. And then um, what happens is that um, all these feelings are coming back up again. You need to uh, go back uh, within yourself and heal that part again and purge. Okay, and embrace the changes that are coming because uh, there's beautiful things waiting for you. Okay, Cancer? It's a, it's a process, okay? I, I, and I, I, a lot of people go through this. Okay. What are the messages for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from October 19th to October 30th. And then Cancers to have love. And Cancers have happiness and joy. And okay. I'm just gonna take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I feel that a lot of cancers out there are also uh, having stomach issues. Uh, maybe um, uh, you're, uh, you're, I don't know, I just feel like you're having, like maybe, uh, like you drink coffee or you drink um, something and it hurts your stomach. Uh, maybe um, some of you could go, could have, sorry, maybe some of you could, um, do a detox, okay? Uh, I hear detox, okay? So for those of you that uh, your stomachs are hurting, also, if you want, you could get peppermint, okay? Peppermint oil, okay? A pure oil, any, any kind. And you just put a drop of peppermint in your water and you drink it. Or you could take the peppermint oil and put it on your stomach and rub it. It's going to make you feel better, okay? Uh, try not to take any uh, pills or uh, whatever they give it to you in the pharmacy. Try to get, go get yourself peppermint oil. It really works, and it also works for any kind of migraines or headaches. Okay, um, you know I do make my own uh, my own uh, oils. Go to a natural uh, natural store and uh, purchase a peppermint peppermint oil. Okay, it's it's worth it. You'll feel better in no time. Okay. I see here that uh, for other of you uh, that are in couples or, or married, uh, here um, that is um, there's you're working there's or dating also. That there's um, both of you that came in together. There's two people here. I see. I see a lot of love making here, and um, I see that uh, you know you're planning. You know you see each other. You plan to see you. I see that there's like you and this other person working together to um, evolve, like evolving and bonding and growing. Okay making plans to see each other. I see that sometimes, uh, you know, you, you have uh, supper together or lunch together. Um, there's a gift that's coming towards you from the universe, Cancer. Okay. I see a younger, uh, younger um, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Okay, I do see that. Um, and he really like he really shows you that he uh, that he likes you like he loves you, um, but you you are happy with this person as well, okay. I see also a fire energy. Uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, but this person keeps coming in and out of your life. I feel. For those of you that are dating, um, 
some of you cancers are not really working at this moment. Okay. But there is a gift that's coming in. Okay, and some of you are not ready, like, for some reason, like, you're really, um, you're really, like, um, what's the word? I feel that like you're, st you're standing up for yourself a lot. Some of you are in your element, you're working a lot over here. Uh, some of you are not working, I see this as well. But there is a gift of health, a uh, gift of love that's coming in, and a gift of money that's coming in. For you cancers okay there is that there is a, a there's, there's a very passionate uh relationship here i see for cancers uh the ones that are dating okay um but i see that there's like uh there was a lot of passion and then the passion sus subsided somehow i th i feel that um maybe because uh you you and the, your partner were going through financial difficulties or um one of you's lost your job, or then uh, like one of you is working. There's like an unbalance here, okay? Um, and your relationship has been going through like the ringer, like on and off, on and off, on and off. This is what I feel. I also see an, a, a, um, um, a, young, a younger sign of, uh, a young sign of, uh, so I see all the signs here, okay? Because they keep showing me all the signs. Um, you know, you're aware of the signs, okay, again, uh, so there, there's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, I have Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, I have um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, okay, I do see that too, and I have Cancer, okay, I have a younger sign and an older sign, I don't know if this has to do with the fact that there's many suitors around you, for those of that are dating, um, Please leave me some comments. Let me know what's going on because over here, uh, the energies right now are like, I feel that you are aware of what's going on. Uh, you have a new beginning happening. Okay, you have a new beginning. Your angels are very close to you. Okay, but there is like a lot of fighting. And some of you are not feeling well. You know, you feel like you won't have strength to go through this. Or you're tired, you're tired, you're exhausted. Okay. Any more messages for cancers? Yeah, you're not taking time for yourself. You know, you're not taking any time for yourselves. Okay. It could be that you're working a lot too. And you're not taking care of your, your own being. You know, um, I see that you, you're tired. Maybe that's why you're not feeling good. Yeah, it's like... There's something that is not in balance over here. You got... Um, You also got the Ten of Pentacles, which shows to me that it's uh, the ending of, uh, which is a good card, Ten, it means like Ten of Pentacles, it's like the best card you could have also, like the Ten of Cups, you know, it talks about where you have, it, you, you're achieving in, in, in your professional life, you know, because you, you're like, you're like this, okay, this is your element, I feel, Cancer, that you, you know, uh, you worked, you, you worked hard, you, you're making money um, in, in your future, this is here for you, where you could buy yourself beautiful things, and you have this. This is for those that maybe that are married, that are ma married or been a long time couple together. You reached everything with this couple, and like you, you reached the happiness, money coming in, and there's new beginnings in that. Okay, I do see that. Okay, and there is a gift that's coming. You got the ace over here, so you already have eleven on the ground. Eleven. Okay, uh, two ones. Some of you, some of you cancers out there, 
are very good with your intuition. Okay, this uh, uh, you're grounded. Uh, a lot of you are studying to become something like to be, you're studying uh, to do tarot. I feel uh, to learn about your psychic abilities. I do get that here. I'm um, seeing that you're learning how to trust your intuition. Okay, now this is not for all of you, but this is for some of you. Okay, and there is a, a, a passionate relationship here. There's a very passionate relationship that came together. Very passionate. Okay. I'm going to take some clar uh, clarification cards over here. I need to clarify some things, and I'm going to use this deck. This deck was given to me by... Um, by you know, uh, uh, someone that is a cancer, okay, and she, she watched the videos and she saw that one of my decks were bro broken and she, uh, she, she really wanted to donate, donate me, uh, uh, cards, okay, and, uh, her name is Rebecca and I, and I thank her for sending these, uh, beautiful, um, these beautiful, uh, cards, okay, that she, uh, they're very beautiful, I like them, they're called Steam, Steampunk Tarot, I have the box here, I don't know if you see the box here, uh, where uh, I really appreciate it because uh, if my cards are getting are getting ruined, they were. But it's just that I have a hard time letting go of my old cards. But uh, I like these as uh, clarification, like they, to clarify anything. They really are good for me, so I really like them. Okay, um, and uh, so Rebecca, thank you so much for sending me these cards, and also she got me another deck that. Uh, I'm not using right now because uh, she sent me two decks, you know. So, and they're really pretty, okay? They're really pretty cards. Look. So you did get the two cups here, okay? Uh, two people coming together, wanting the same thing. Um, soulmate energy, okay? Soulmate energy. These cards are uh, are very nice, okay? They're very nice cards. I really love them a lot. So I'm really thankful for the donations, you know? And um, I have a donate button, but it's not working on my channel for some reason. I don't know why. I try to fix it today, and I don't know what's going on. It's not. Uh, it's uh, it's not working. But I and underneath this box there is a um, you know an icon, and you have all my information there. If you want to know about me, my 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 bio, uh, and who I am, and. Um, and if there, if there is, a, a, I don't ask for donations, but a lot of my friends and clients that became friends, because there's a lot of clients that took personal readings from me, and then we became friends, and we, we haven't, they're like, they're my soul family. I found my soul family by by coming on YouTube, and um, so um, if ever you feel like, you know, uh, donating uh, something for that, I could buy new cards. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot, but it would be appreciated. I don't want. I, I don't like asking for it, but they tell me that it's okay for me to ask for it. So I'm. I'm. You know. I'm trusting that they. They know. Okay. That what. Um, I'm trusting that it is. I don't like asking for anything because I am a cancer. So, but if you know, if those of you that do want to leave uh, a donation or you want to send me uh, some cards, you know, you're more than welcome. Uh, I'll, I'll use them in my readings, okay? Uh, over here, it shows me it's the ending of your... Um, for lot, those of you cancers, this is the ending of all your heart heartbreaks, okay? There's not going to be any more of this because after this, it's like... you you. I feel a lot of you have completed your life lessons, okay? And so it's all about new beginnings that are coming towards you. and But there is some kind of imbalance, okay? It shows me this. There's, there's a bit of an imbalance, Okay, and um, a lot of you in the past, I find that your recent relationship, you were left in the dark. Like, you were left in the dark, meaning that uh, they, the person just walked away from you and you never had closure. And so a lot of you have to do this closure. Oh boy, there's too many cards. Okay. I needed to, yeah, these are great. Uh, they're they're great to clarify. They're amazing. Um, you know, I wanted to use them in a full reading, but that's not how the angels want. The angels want me to use them to clarify. They're so beautiful. The images on them. Okay. Um, 
a lot of you is like okay the nine of wands the nine of wands is a card okay in this card it, it doesn't depict exactly the way i i like to show in my other cards but what it is about is it's like um you know uh it shows that you are still standing after everything that happened to you okay you're very strong cancer um those some of you also uh, feel that are you know shutting your heart you're not letting your heart open you're not opening your heart to new possibilities that are trying to come in and you're resisting this change that's coming towards you you're you're really resisting the change okay and um spirit is asking you to you have to you have to open up okay you need to open up your heart and heal it and um and work on yourself if you have to i know it's not easy but i know you cancers could do that okay uh water signs are e they are e and he's also leo i find uh, they have easier way of uh, healing themselves faster than any other signs okay because you need to like open your heart okay and be unconditional love to bring that person in as unconditional love okay um you're creating it's a co-creation you're some of you are creating this blockage there okay you just have to go with the flow okay and for those of you that admit, did meet somebody and that um you did meet somebody and that uh there's like stagnant stagnant or because you're working or you're not, you're separated right now you don't see each other often uh take the time to to take the time to to um before walking away about if like you, if some of you want to walk away just take the time before you walk away because i see a lot of you are still not trusting your intuition and i see that um you know uh, for those of you that are tarot readers could be also that right now this moment you're not seeing things clearly also okay if you're in, if you do tarot reading okay and if you do tarot reading uh and you're not seeing things clearly. Your cards are not uh, coming out the way because the way they're sh the cards are that no lie, but your intuition is off completely. Okay, and it shows that you've been working on yourself here. Okay, uh, and um, the Nine of Pentacles shows me for some of you is that you have been working on yourself and you're more you're balanced and you're calm. This is in your near future. And I'm gonna take one more card from this. Okay, oh, no, more than one card came out. Okay. Some of you are right now are manifesting your twin flame. A lot of people, a lot of you are on the collective are manifesting uh, what you want in your life, which means could be a new project, you're working, your twin flame. So please, please keep your thoughts very positive. Keep your thoughts positive. Be positive. Think positive. And when you talk with others or be positive towards other people as well. Okay. Um, there's going to be a lot of celebration to celebrate, okay? A lot of celebration. One more card. You will have the strength to go through this, okay, Cancer? Um, some of you are dealing with a Leo. Some of you are dealing with an Aries as well. Some of you are resisting to move forward. I don't know. There's something here about you moving forward. You have all your dreams come true, but you have to go through this transformation again. Okay? You're resisting. And if you keep resisting, what's going to happen is that the universe is going to come in, Cancer, and they're going to come, it's going to come in and it's going to, um, it's because you're, um, it's because of your anxieties and your fears. It's, it's, you're, you're, you're having anxieties and fears to move forward with this okay i don't know who i'm who i'm speaking for but talking to but it's i i see this right here um you need to stop fighting it and uh resisting the change that's coming for you which is for the better and stop being in fear and live in the moment don't go too far ahead and don't go don't be don't be stuck in your past okay cancers don't be stuck in your past. You need to move. Uh, you need to move forward. Some of you are that are dealing with a cancer. Okay, I do see cancer here very prominently, and I also see a fire, a fire energy. But cancer is here as well. Is there any more messages? Any more messages? Any more to clarify? Any cards here that I need to clarify for cancers? Okay.
Yeah, you have the sun that's shining behind you. Okay. And eventually uh, you will be healing yourself. You will be healing yourself and uh, walking away from this fear and anxiety that you have. Okay. Uh, I just feel that for some of you cancers, you're talking to a lot of people. I don't know uh, if that uh, resonates with any of you here. Please leave me, uh, let me know uh, if this reading resonated with you. And if nothing really resonated with you, then look at your rising, your moon, and your uh, and your uh, your moon and your Venus. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for this. So now. I feel like a lot of you are living the same routine every day. You're living the same thing every day. And you you, you manifested everything that's happening to you. You manifested this soulmate coming to you. 